I want to share with you something that happened to me and a friend of mine about 30 years ago. You see, I grew up in northern New Jersey. A friend of mine named Pete and I were riding our bikes from his house to mine. If I remember correctly, it was around 9.30 or 10 o'clock on one of those magical summer nights as we pedaled down the road. God, summer seemed different back then. But maybe that's just the glorious haze of boyhood memories. Anyway, Pete only lived four houses down from me, so the ride between our houses was relatively short. In front of my house was what they call the swamp, as to the legal deed of my parents' house, and across the road on the other side is a swamp as well. Now in truth, it was really about 10 or 12 acres of wetland marsh. Now we were about 200 feet from my driveway, which was right at the edge of the marsh. And this thing came out of the swamp about 50 feet in front of us. Now when I say thing, I mean it was something right out of those crazy ass old monster movies that we used to watch on Saturdays. It was tall. Now it's been years, but it had to be between 6 and 7 feet at least. It had long, lanky legs, long arms. It looked like they could almost touch the ground. It seemed to have skin somewhere between gray and green. And I could see the water running down its body and dripping onto the street. Now the immediate area was basically dark except for the light from neighboring houses and one of those old style yellowish orangish street lights. Remember those? It walked on its back legs and kind of lumbered. For some reason the fact that it walked upright on two legs freaked the shit out of me. Anyway what it boils down to is that me and my friend Pete were looking right into the face of some kind of lizard swamp monster thing. It turned and faced us and let out this weird blood curdling scream growl hiss a sound I wish I'd had on tape because I can't even duplicate it. After that, it ran across the street and into the swamp. Well, you better believe that Pete and I almost shit our pants right there on the spot. Nevertheless, we U-turned our bikes and hightailed it the hell out of there. We took a few minutes to recoup our thoughts and analyze what the fuck had just happened. After a few minutes, we agreed that we both saw the same exact thing but had no idea what that thing was. After regaining our courage, we bolted back down the road to my house. Since that day, I've never seen or heard anything like it. I haven't even heard of any similar stories of such a creature from the people in that area. And you better believe that that suits me just fine.